and this is physics. And today I'm going to do a demonstration with respect to radioactive decay. But first, I have to prepare myself. We do have other issues that we need to concern ourselves with, so I need to put this on. It's a special mask that I made. There we go. It says radioactive decay. I'm going to put this on. And I have with me, right here, a special, a special bag. This is a magician's bag. In this bag right now contains copper. Now, as we all know, copper does not, is not radioactive. Nothing will happen if I walk around with this bag of copper. As I walk around, nothing happens. I walk back to the door here. Nothing happens. Everybody's good. As I go back, they think I've got a bag of copper, but this is a magic bag, as you can see. And when I say the magic words, this is physics. Bingo, what I have in here now is a uranium. And uranium, as well as polonium and technetium and all the other elements, it is radioactive. Being radioactive, what exactly does that mean? It means that the, the core, the core of the atom will begin to decay at a specific time. And what it does, it will emit alpha particles and beta particles and gamma particles. But nobody knows when they're going to decay, when it's going to happen, it's just going to happen. It goes any which way, but there's no prediction as to when it's going to happen. No, no, uh, no one really knows how much it's going to decay. Hence, we have this term called half-life. What's happening here is the, the core it is the, the protons and neutrons in the, 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 in the uh, atoms are decaying. And they're spinning up at subatomic particles called alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma particles. And this is just the, the core of the, uh, the atom decaying. The thing about this, the thing about radioactive decay is when you are close to it, Okay, all these particles will hit you and you become bombarded with radioactive particles. The other thing about the radioactive decay is distance. The farther you are from a radioactive material, uranium right here, the farther you are, the less likely that this proton or uh, uh, subatomic particle of alpha, beta, or gamma will hit you because it has a limited distance that it will travel. When uranium decays and emits one of these particles, it only has a limited distance. So the farther you are from it, the safer you are from radioactive materials. And what you've seen right now is basically one decay a second. That's called a becquerel. One decay a second. But what normally happens is you get a whole lot of decay happen at the same time. What I'd like everyone to do now, gently, pick up one of those two of those balls, put one in your hand. I'm going to do a demonstration of what would actually happen if you are close to radioactive materials at a rate of greater than one decay a second. So I'm going to stand here. On my mark, when I say mark, Everybody takes it at the one of one of the balls that you have and throw it at me. <laughs> this will be a demonstration. <laughs> and that's a demonstration that you never know when something's going to decay. It just automatically happens. It's called an half life. I've got another video on that one. But anyway, to show you what actual visual see what happens in reality when you're next to something that's radioactive, it is a, a lot of bombardment all at the same time. So I'm gonna stand here on my mark. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go and throw everything at me. Ready? Mark. <laughs> <There's two. laughs> That's what would actually happen in real life. Now we're gonna do that again. Pick up one piece one more time, please. We're gonna change. Keep going. Wanna join them? Go join them.
Okay, everybody ready? So on my mark, take one of those radioactive particles and throw it at the camera. But Okay, there, there's my mark. <laughs> now radioactive materials, okay, it's unpredictable as to when they are going to decay. And you just demonstrated that. I'm waiting for a mark and it just happens. So let's do it again. One more time. The way scientists predict what happens is called a half-life. And I have a separate video for half-lives. One more time. This gives you a visual as to what actually happens when you're next to something that's radioactive and you are close to it, not far away, but close to it. Okay, on my mark, I'll count to three. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> okay, everybody all at the same time. Read this. One, two, three. This is 